appetite is knocking out the fish tail joint. So you could give some explanation as you're doing it, appetite. Well, this is. I'm from Dominica. Pick up the mask, man. Pick up the mask. I got it. I'm from Dominica, right? Mm -hmm. And in Dominica, we call this the fish tail lock. This is one of the best way to join lumber, especially for roofing. Hey, make a radio level for me. If you look at radio. the process, I, took, I marked two and hmm. two inches, then I gave it this angle. Then I, I cut, I have to cut this way. So now I take in two on this side. this way and then I take my square I go this way so this angle and that angle is barely the same now I take in my big my long lever I, took my, I take my long level and I go this way. And then I mark straight across. Now this, is, this is what the lock is about. I have to cut this, I have to cut that, and then I cut straight in the center. So if you're looking at me carefully, I give you a small practical demonstration. So small practical demonstration right now. So I take my saw. No. First, I did something. I have to take this mark. Just to be square, I carry that down. For in case when I saw it, so I can have the mark square. Mark on the other side. Basically, the same thing in one point, the same thing in the other point. Now, I cut off this piece. I go straight across to this one. But my actual problem here, the saw that I'm using is too small for the wood. I supposed to have a bigger saw. But that's what I have right now. So because my saw is too small, I have to use a hand saw to continue the finish put up. Where's the hand saw? Behind you. So then I use this. Took out the small bit. There could be another name for the, the cut, the, the, the slice, but I don't know. We call it fish tail lock in Dominica. Fish tail lock. So that's the fish tail right there. That is one. Now I'm going to put another one. I'm going to put the other one to take the pattern of this one to cut the other one. So I'm going to mark this one because of I don't want to have any problem in in joints. So I have to take the pattern from the original pattern from it. So you're going to mark it out, right? Yeah, I'm going to mark out the same pattern that I cut off so I don't have any problem when I join it. Okay. So you look at what I'm doing. I'm going to have it straight. Now I'm going to mark the 
same angle. So once the wood is straight. So this is basically what it is. If you look at the demonstration, this goes into that. So that's what the, 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 the lock is about. If you look at it very carefully and you, you watch a fish tail, it, it, it has similarity in it. So that's why we call it fish tail lock. But in fish the, tail lock. Maybe somewhere else is a, is a different name. All right, with that said. In a few, you will see when I connect both of them together. If you look at it, if you show you a picture of there, you can see what it looks like. Yeah. So basically, this is how it looks for now. You can see this, this is how it looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's cut this one and show how it fit and how we do all the assembling. Just give me if you give me a second or two. You will see what it really looks like. Okay. The second one to fit into this one. Mm -hmm. Practically the same demonstration I gave at first is the same demonstration right now. So when I'm connecting both of them together, you will have a better view of what I'm trying to do. Now sometimes due to the, the size of the wood, a wood might be a little bigger than the other by a little 16 for it. I might have to be playing with it until I get it to fit to my satisfaction. Nothing changed until. Again, as I said, because of, I don't have the big saw, I have to use the hand saw to fill it. Now, this is it. Watch it very carefully. Now we're going to put the two of them together. You watch how the two of them fit. One in the other. Check out the fish tail. This is what it looks like. Now because of one wood, it's bigger than the other. I have to do some like uh, touching up. And adjust me. Why did? So this is the fish tail lock. Don't you find? Don't you find it look like a fish tail? Look at it very carefully. Don't you find it look like a fish tail? Yeah, to me it's look. So we call it the fish tail lock. Okay. Good. So we're just gonna bolt it together. And that's gonna be a big for them together. Normally I use wood glue. To uh, wood glue. Wood glue. Wood glue. Wood glue. Okay. Turning it 
Tourner le fouet Now I'm going to bolt it. What are you doing now, Peter? Um, right now I'm taking a measurement so I can put some carriage bolts to reinforce the joint in terms of holding, connecting two of them together. So I take six inches, the splice is um, 24 inches long, so I take six on either side. And then I'm going to drill some hole in the center of the wood so that I can put some carriage bolts. So I take an inch and a quarter, which gives me center. Now I didn't measure that, I just did the same thing like that, and I'm good to go. So now I'm going to drill. Use this long bit so that it could go right through the wood. See? I get elevation so I go high enough so that I have coverage and power over. So then I come down. Street. Compressing the bolt. The size bolt is that? Half inch carriage. Half inch carriage bolt. You didn't put the washer, you didn't need the washer. No, That's the completion of the fishtail lock joint. That's the completion of your fishtail joint. That's how you call it, right? Yeah, fishtail. Fishtail joint. Fishtail joint. Fish joint. Don't you find it? it looks like a fishtail? Don't find it? And it is sitting right on the column, well supported with bolts and screws. Appetite. Yeah, my name is Appetite. If you want to touch work like roofing and stuff like that, I'm a self weight contractor. So you can call my number 227-5299. 227-5299, located in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. Island. That's the man appetite. He got a large appetite as well. It's not for work. <laughs>